السلام علیکم ہوا کے دوش پر نیو یارک کے فضاؤں سے آپ سب کو صفیہ باجی کا سلام اور میں آپ کو دکھانے جا رہی ہوں نیو یارک اکویریم میں ہونے والا بہت خوبصورت اینڈ ویری انٹرسٹنگ سی لائن شو اینڈ بوم My name is Nikki and I have the pleasure of introducing you to the stars of our show. Today, we have trainer Stephanie and seven-year-old rescued sea lion Townsend. Now, you may notice that Townsend has a unique coloring to him right now, and that is because he is going through a molt. Sea lions molt once a year, and you have the opportunity to experience his molt today. Townsend is a California sea lion, and sea lions can be found. That was some beautiful barking Townsend just did. Now, males like Townsend vocalize to claim and defend their territory, while females vocalize to identify their pups on a crowded beach. The sea lions also identify each other through a breath exchange that looks an awful lot like a sea lion kiss. Sea lions belong to a large group of mammals called pinnipeds. And this includes seals, like the harbor seal. You see something in our pool, Mr. Pickles. It includes sea lions, like this handsome fella. <laughs> and it, it also includes walruses. I'm sure most of us know what a walrus looks like, right? Yes, they have those two beautiful tusks, nice and fresh. <laughs> But it's a little more difficult to tell the difference between a seal and a sea lion. So we're gonna give you a few hints to help you do just that. First things first, take a look at the side of the animal's head. If you see an ear flap there that looks like a tootsie roll, you're looking at a sea lion because seals don't have those. Their ears are more internal. Seals also have very short front flippers, whereas sea lions like Townsend, they have long and flexible front flippers that help them propel through the water, just like our arms help us while we're swimming. Woo! Beautiful. Now, seals also have short rear flippers, whereas sea lions have incredible rear flippers. Check those out. <gasps> They are so floppy. A sea lion can actually rotate their rear flippers all the way underneath their bodies. Makes them extremely mobile on land. Don't believe me? Check this out. <laughs> other animals out there waiting to catch them, prowling the water, lurking under the surface, stalking their prey. I'm talking about a sea lion primary predator. You know who I'm talking about? Say it with me now. I'm talking about the great white shark. <laughs> There are no sharks in the aqua theater. Very funny. That was an awesome impression though. And it's true. Sea lions do have to look out for great whites and killer whales in the wild, but there's an even bigger danger, and it's not an animal. It's plastic. The plastic that we use can make their way into the ocean, where they trap and kill millions of marine mammals, sea turtles, sea birds, sharks. I'm talking huge amounts of plastic. And this plastic, it can gather into large masses. There's actually one that's twice the size of Texas. Um, Catherine, what's that? A plastic bottle. A plastic bottle? And Bruiser found it in the pool. Well, 
all this is bad timing and very, very embarrassing. I'm just gonna throw it in the truck. <laughs> what? Very well trained. What? Oh! <laughs> yes, of course. Oh. We all know that plastic does not belong in the trash can. Plastic belongs in the recycling. A plus. Oh, what a good catch. Nice job, buddy. High five. <laughs> now let's get back to plastic because it's serious. And wait, hold on a second. I checked the pool before the show. It was spotless. How did a plastic bottle even get in there? Unless someone put it in there, <clears throat> Catherine. Okay, don't look at me. Well, if it wasn't you, then it was. <gasps> Bruiser! Oh, buddy, you put the bottle in the pool. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I know that you were just trying to point out that plastic doesn't belong in the water, but plastic should never go in the water. I mean, Plastics choke in our oceans. Do you realize that us humans, we use over 50 billion plastic bottles every year? And only one in five gets recycled. One in five? One in five. One in five? I know, Bruiser. It's shocking. <laughs> However, consider this. If Stephanie and Catherine and me and everyone here, if we all choose to use a reusable bottle instead of a single-use plastic one, we will be saving countless animals just like Bruiser. The choices that we make every day, they can add up to make a huge impact. And that is something to celebrate. Hit it! Let's get one more big round of applause. 